गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेरी फाइन एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ ओके नाउ द सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर्स चैप्टर नंबर वन द टाइनी टीचर आई एम गोइंग टू मेक यू राइट कॉम्प्रीहेंशन चेक आई विल सेंड दिस पिक्स ऑल्सो एंड यू हैव टू राइट इट डाउन इन योर नोटबुक ओके कॉम्प्रीहेंशन चेक क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर्स ओके पेज नंबर फाइव supplementary reader the tiny teacher i am explaining again now see question number 1 how long does it take for a grub to become a complete ant how long does it take for a grub to become a complete ant the answer is the grub take in Three to six weeks, the grubs take in three to six weeks to become cocoons and then to be a complete ant. Okay, this is the answer. The grubs take in three to six weeks to become cocoons and then to be a complete ant. Question number two: Why do the worker ants carry the grubs about? the grubs are carried about daily for airing exercise and shine sunshine the grubs are carried about daily for airing exercise and the sunshine okay question number 3 what jobs are the new ants trained for what jobs are the new ant trained for the new ants learn their duties from old ants as workers the new ants learn their duties from old ants as workers soldiers builders and cleaners okay question number 4 name some other creatures that live in ant hills name some other creatures that live in ant hills now see who are the other creatures that live in ant hills some other creatures that live in ant hills are beetles lizard breeds of ants and the open fly instead of ants there lived beetles laser breeds of ants and the open fly number 5 mention three things we can learn from the tiny teacher give reasons for choosing these items we can learn from the tiny ants the lessons of hard work sense of duty and discipline cleanliness loyalty and care for the young ones these lessons are necessary for the happiness and smooth working of the society are you getting my point we can learn from the tiny ants the lessons of hard work sense of duty and discipline cleanliness loyalty and care for young ones these lessons are necessary for the happiness and smooth working of the society okay now see again here exercise is there okay and you have to write down only these questions in your notebook i will send you the pics only these page number 5 questions you have to write down and now page number 3 c you have to write it down in your textbook this one you have to write it down in textbook comprehension check page number 3 the story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue the italicized phrase means the italicized phrase for this statement means it is highly exaggerated answer is this highly exaggerated okay highly exaggerated it means uh, in the story this the author has said that ants are soldiers ants are cleaners 
and they have loyalty and so many it's okay they are tiny teacher till yahan tak theek hai aunts are tiny teachers but they they won't be a soldier they won't be a cleaners hai na like this they won't be a trainers like this this is exaggeration you know exaggerated it means zarurat se zyada batana kisi ko aadat hoti hai na cheez hoti hai itni si aur wo जाके इतनी बड़ी बड़ी करके बताते दैट दैट थिंग इज कॉल्ड एग्जेगरेटेड ओके सो दिस इज एग्जेगरेशन दिस स्टोरी इज हाईली एग्जेगरेटेड कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट एन आंट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट एन आंट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट एंड पीपल हैव केप्ट द आंट्स एज अ पेट्स एंड वॉच्ड देअर बिहेवियर क्लोजली ओके सी हियर आंसर इज हियर पीपल हैव केप्ट एन आंट्स एज अ पेट्स एंड वॉच्ड देअर बिहेवियर क्लोजली ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेकंड सेंसर एंड फर्स्ट आंसर इज हियर एन आंट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट इन्सेक्ट वी हैव सीन फर्स्ट आंसर इज दिस हियर टू बोथ एंसर्स आर गिवन ओके नाउ थर्ड In what ways is an aunt's life peaceful? The aunt's life in the aunts live in peace because each one does its share of work honestly. Aunt's life is peaceful it is because each of its uh, share work does it honestly then wisely bravely and they don't interfere in working given to others they never fight in a group and aunts never fight in a group this is their special quality okay so these were question and answers you have to write down and now i am also giving you uh, the bringing up kari second chapter i am going to start bringing up kari as explanation has done and now i am going to explain you questions and answers as we have times so we i am going to start okay now see exercise page number 14 question number 1 the enclosure in which kari lived had thatch roof that lay on the thick tree stumps examine the illustration of kari's pavilion on page 8 and say why it was built that way why that pavilion was built in that way in short the question and the answer means why this uh, pavilion made like this kari's pavilion was built under a thatched roof having its support on a thick tree trunk the support was necessary to save the roof from falling down when he moved about and bumped against the bamboo poles i am explaining you again kari's pavilion was built under a thatch roof where was kari living under a thatch roof his pavilion his pavilion it means his residence okay and its support on a thick trunk tree trunk a thick tree trunk was giving him support the support was necessary to save the roof from falling down when he moved about the bump against the bamboo poles whenever he was stuck to the bamboo poles and he was stuck to the tree also so it gives him support and this type of pavilion was uh, his pavilion was now see did kari enjoy his morning bath on the river give reason for your answer as we have already seen kari was enjoying too much when author took him for a bath at the river bank he enjoyed that thing too much so the our answer is yes 
कारी लव्ड टू बी टेकन टू द रिवर फॉर हिज बाथ ही ले डाउन ऑन हिज ऑन द सैंड बैंक द नैरेटर रब्ड हिज बॉडी विथ क्लीन सैंड ओके द नैरेटर रब हिज बॉडी विथ अ क्लीन सैंड वेन देन ही वॉश हिज वॉश्ड हिज बॉडी विथ वॉटर ओके एंड ही यूज टू मेक साउंड्स जॉयफुली एंड देन कारी वॉज वेरी जॉयफुली एन्जॉइड इच एंड एवरी थिंग एट दैट टाइम ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टॉप हियर हियर वी हैव फिनिश टू क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ऑल्सो ओके एंड इन नेक्स्ट पीरियड आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस वन and i will send you the pics also so take care of you